people of the fountain. The Obas and my team didn't create a kitty state. It's the federal government that created a kitty state. But they were the engine room that convinced the federal government of Abacha as against five other contestants in the West. We were the least materially endowed. And we were not in government. Like the Jebus were in government, Dia was in government, number two, in government and in, 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 in the military. And the Oyos, the Jebus, the Odudua people, they could buy us over and over again. People of the fountain. When they were doing the, their launching, a single Jebuma pulled down 10 million naira. And that day they collected up to 50 million. For the three years we were fighting for the creation of the state, we didn't collect up to 3 million naira. Chief Ojofalega, he was my treasurer. Ojofalega didn't hold more than 2.3 million throughout. And we didn't spend a cobble outside his post. We went to Abuja about four times. And all the 22 papers we prepared were prepared solely by the first one, the leader of the group. How did the agitation for the creation of the state start? In May 1991, I sent out a circular to 24 people. under the auspices of the Wednesday group. I had just retired the previous September. There were two political parties engineered by the Babangida administration, the NRC and the SDP. Our people were almost evenly distributed in those parties. That's not wrong. That was right. But they were they were not communicating. They ignored the interest of this environment, which is my passion. Which is my passion. I was general manager. I felt uncomfortable in Ibadan. In Korea, I was general manager. I was permanent secretary. I felt uncomfortable. So I called these 24 people to a meeting. And only about 12 came. I about 10 came. That's how we started. We were meeting every other Wednesday in that living room. We were meeting every other Wednesday and we call ourselves the Wednesday group. I collected my friends and uh, we agreed after the third meeting on the platform of the uh, of the Wednesday group we approached the Obas because we knew that we need the collaboration and leadership of the others. And they, they, they accepted, and that's how we started. We structured our struggle under three categories. One, the quarterly, I mean the, the um, bi-monthly meeting in my house. Two, the monthly meeting of others in, in the WIPS Palace. Three, the monthly meeting of robbers and leaders in the West Palace. I dug my hands to the founding fathers who foresaw that it would be better to be alone. The Ikiti evolutionary journey with its twists and turns is the subject of a weekly television documentary on this channel. People of the fountain. People were skeptical. They said we were layabouts. How, how could we want a state? Where will we? Where will we put all the civil servants? Which is the industry that will feed that will feed government? Where will they stay? Where will be the secretariat? So I offered my house, my bungalow at First One Crescent. That was where I could tell you, I mean, could tell radio started. I offered my house free for one year. We went to Abuja about 13 times, uh, to the north rather not Abuja alone. 
because we, we reached out even to the Sultan. Then we saw Abacha five times, four times before the creation and the fifth time to thank him. Prior to that, there was the Mbane for panel, which went around all the part of the country requesting for statehood. Our own hearing was at Akure, and we appeared before the Mbane for panel. We appointed Afe to represent us. He was a partner in the struggle. What we were doing collectively together here in Ikiti, he was doing solo in Ibadan. People of the fountain. I was a person who prepared the memo which was presented to the panel, the creation of the state. He represented us in the panel. This was January 1996. And we were so persuasive in our publications and our presentation and all these things that the AFROC didn't have problem granting our request. We wrote 24 papers. He wrote a lot of memos. I wrote singularly 12, 22 of those. People of the fountain. The meeting of 9th of January 1996. Now that was a make or break meeting for the executive project. Because uh, of what about 70 of us were in attendance on that day. The leaders were over 200. The bill was jam packed and two issues were to be discussed because the Ubanco panel has set guidelines to be, to be adopted by those agitators or trying to put up application for creation of states. And the other was that we must have the name of the state at least and the capital. So when we got to that meeting, it was a very hectic meeting. The, uh, the, the easier part was the name of the states. Now we all agree with that, uh, with that question. When now came to the capital, then we now had a problem on our hands. Uh, the majority of the local governments were in support of Argo as local government, but we have two other local governments led by leading others, Kabe Isia Lekole and Kabe Isia Jero, also rooting for the Jero, the Kole also as capital. People of the fountain. What was the special appeal in the Ekiti agitation? Two or three things. One, our presentations, consistency. Consistency, we were consistent. Two, there was not a single divergent voice as to state headquarters. Well, you know, move the motion that the capital for a state should be a great state. And it was agreed by consensus. It's a wonderful opportunity for me and my colleagues to stand before you humbly but authoritatively this evening. The last time we met like this was uh, October 1, 1996. I don't take credit for it. Many of the men who came up here belong to different political tendencies and traditions. Many of our cadences who worked hard to make this a reality today did not have political coloration. Many just had an equity coloration. And anything that we call in the ultimate best interest of the state was the driving force and impetus behind the agenda to create a city state. People of the fountain. Diya himself told me and we and others at the villa. That day was asking me, say what can we see? Are, there are so many organizations asking for switch on the state and local government. But as is the peculiar case that would be the traditional rulers leading our own, other politicians that it appears to him that is a merit in our own case. That Kabi, as you look at it, you have been consistent. Some people will be asking for state, they will be saying it's Odogolu, Shagam, or Yebode. Say, you are consistent on Adwekiti. It's about the history of the Kiti people. Every time I drive to Adwekiti, I am excited and I feel fulfilled as having been part of this global integration. We made a lot of progress. It's about development. Look at Ado today. Ado is four times what it was when the state was created. Personality. I have no love outside the Kiti. He's a true Ekiti man. I didn't stay one minute in Akure after my retirement. People of the fountain. Deji Faswa. 
the man who presented the blueprint of Ekiti development to the first military administrator posted to the new state. To be able to achieve the level of integrity and, and honesty which our parents had and which we inherited, current developments require that we deorient it ourselves and reorient it back to basics. <laughs> This program intends to bear the torch of the Ekiti integrity, showcasing the Ekiti origin, religion, culture, and political struggles from the past to the present. People of the Fountain. There is one lasting immutable that as long as a country called Nigeria exists, there will be Ekiti as a component.